Hello, Vince Campy here. How are you? We're going to do a little portrait fix-up. So we make a, you know, show you some techniques on how to make pictures look a little nicer. So we're going to go over here to Photoshop. I happen to have a portrait of myself. Okay, sorry about that, but uh, it's what I had. Um, and um, actually, it's what I have license to use, <laughs> So, because I gave myself permission. All right, now, what we're going to do is we're going to give this a little crop here. We're going to make it a little tighter here, so it's more of a traditional headshot. So just go ahead and grab the crop tool, and click, hold, and drag. About like that. Make sure there's a little bit of headroom there. About like that. Maybe a little more headroom, so if we want to put a frame on this, we can do that. So uh -oh. don't want to get those eyes too close to the center. All right, like that. Let's double click now, and bam, it is cropped. Okay. I always like to work with the, this, the, you know, sort of filling the whole screen. So two ways you can do that. You can do it with holding the Apple Command key or Control and hitting zero, and that fits it into here, or you can go ahead and use the um, double click on the hand tool, and that will also fill the screen with that picture. Now, what we're gonna do first, what you always should do first, is duplicate your background layer so you won't uh, mess up the one good layer you have. So, either Apple Command J or Control J on Windows, we'll copy that. Now, turn the visibility of this layer off. Just poke it in the eye. Turn that off, so now, this is what I'm working with. One of my favorite tools is the um, Spot Healing Brush tool. I forget the name sometimes. Okay, and so you can click right here for that. And then that's what I'm going to use to uh, clear up some of the spottiness that's happened over the years. Okay, so uh, first I'll hit the Z to get the zoom tool. Zoom into the area that I want to mess with here, fix. And then J to get the Spot Brush tool. Now spot healing tool. Um, the bracket keys can change the size of your brush. So I always use those right next to the P. Makes it smaller, makes it larger. So when I'm working, I can just now click on there. Okay, that takes that right away. I'm going to make this a little smaller. Click there, there. So this is just, you basically get the idea and go around and click up and clean up some of this spottiness that's happening. Now, if I hold the space bar, I get the hand, I can move this over, let go, and back to the same tool. A little bigger for that, a little smaller for that. You really need to start using uh, keyboard shortcuts when you're in Photoshop because it's just so much switching around and it takes a lot longer if you have to keep going to menus and things like that. So bump that up a little bit, clean that up. Okay, so you get the idea on this, right? You're just cleaning up. Be careful because if you... Do something like that, and you might pick up, that's kind of funky looking, it picks up, samples some of the junk that's up here, some of the funky colors that you maybe don't want to mix in. Otherwise, this brush works beautifully most of the time. Okay, so that's pretty much, let's see, what else we have here? Up a little something on the lip there, make it a little smaller. Okay, that's cool. If you uh, handle this right, you can do some really nice work pretty quickly and easily. Okay, there we got rid of uh, most of those spots. I'm going to double click on the hand tool here. Okay, that's fine for now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use one of my favorite filters. Go to Filter, Noise, Reduce Noise. Okay. That's available in CS2, 3, and uh, Photoshop Elements. Okay, so this is going to give you a slight blur. Blur out the pixels a little bit. It's kind of a radical blur. If you click and hold, you can see what it used to be. And now this is what the, uh, it's going to look like with the filter applied. Okay, you can mess with the strength here. You put it down, it's going to blur it and that a little less. You put it up a little bit, preserve detail. That will sharpen the picture a little bit. So I'm trying to not sharpen it, and so I want to bump that down a little bit. Uh, reduce color noise if you have some really uh, noisy darks. A lot of times it shows up in the dark, uh, dark areas, the uh, red, green, blue pixels and stuff, and that will really take out some of those um, problems. Sharpen detail. I don't want it super sharp because it's going to bring back some of the funk I want to get rid of. The, um, well, I need to soften my particular skin tone, and um, we can mix this. So I would, I would put it 
up there pretty good, where you get the strength up pretty good, preserve details down a little bit, reduce color noise up a little, and this down a little bit. So it's going to soften this up, and we can always use the layer opacity if it's too much. Okay, so go ahead and hit OK. It's got to process for a moment. <laughs> okay, now it softens up those skin tones a little bit. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this layer. So Command-J, Apple-J, or Control-J to do that. Now I'm going to apply another filter. I'm going to apply a, a Gaussian Blur. So I'm going to go to Filter Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now notice I'm making layers for each one of these because um, I don't want to throw everything on one layer. Then I'm not going to be able to do what I need to do. So now this is going to blur it out pretty good. Okay, now you can play around right now. I happen to have this a high resolution image, so um, I'm going to put this around the mid twos to three, right around that area. And that's going to blur that out just like I want it to make it nice and smooth. So hit OK. Okay, now it's processing and it's nice and blurry. So if I turn that layer off, there's a difference there. Okay, now for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the eyes and the mouth. Okay, then the rest of this will actually won't look too bad because right now it looks like a blurry photo. So I'm going to go to the eraser tool. Now I'm going to have a the hardness right about the middle there. Okay, sometimes this doesn't go away. There we go. I have to kind of kick back and forth a little bit. Not sure if that's a bug or what. But um, okay, so now I have this. Now I use the bracket tools to increase and decrease like I told you before or mentioned before. And so maybe I'll make this a little smaller. Make sure I have that top layer. This is the blur layer chosen. I'm just gonna maybe a little, just gonna erase the eyeballs there. Not too much into it. And it brings back the detail that the blur took away. And so those now a little bit sharper. And now right around the lips and the teeth there. I'm going to get a little smaller. Right down there. OK. All right. So that sharpens that up nicely. I'm going to add a, an, an adjustment layer. So we have that. We have the, the smoothness of the skin is as smooth as it's going to get right now. You can play around and do more if you'd like. Now, go to the adjustment layers down here, the little yin-yang sort of thing, and we create a new levels adjustment. Okay, now, what we're going to do, it's a little bit red. I have a little too much red in here, so I go right here, channels, red. I'm going to adjust uh, the mid-range down here. If I move it up, it's going to pull some of that red out. And this is the dark tones here, so I'm going to put that out so it pulls some of the red out in the uh, shadow areas. So you don't want to go green, so I'm just going to go up just a little bit. And this a little bit. I'm going to go over to the green channel, and let's see. Okay, not too much. A little there. Okay, don't want to go too green, so I'm going to leave that like that, blue. Let's see, a little of that, that kind of helps out a bit. Don't want to do too much because we don't want to start looking super phony. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go back to the RGB channel. And I'm going to bump this up a little bit to add just some brightness to the whole thing. It's the mid-range there. Add that If I push bump this up, it'll add a little contrast, which is usually good. Okay, you play around with that a little bit just so you get the uh, skin color uh, as natural as possible. That's the thing you want to focus on whenever you're doing a portrait thing. Uh, you want to make sure the skin tone is as natural as possible and other things will have to um, work around. So hit that and I think we have something that's pretty reasonable. So now if I turn these three layers off, that's what we had. And this is what we have now. Okay, you see how it brightened it up quite a bit. All right, that's one way to uh, brighten up your photos and make them a little softer and nicer. Well, see how this is a little obviously blurred? I can take this layer, I just noticed that, and you can lower the opacity of the blur layer 
just a little bit so then it's not so obvious what you've done. Okay, there we go. That's nice. All right. Have a great time playing around with your photos, and I hope you uh, learned something. Take care. Bye-bye.